morning everyone. Today when I am filming this, it is Christmas Eve Eve. The last day of work before Christmas. And we're getting that lovely, typical Christmas snow. It's been snowing all night. We probably got a couple of inches, not too much. But for our Christmas present, we're going to visit America. I gotta go down to Thief River Falls in Minnesota, pick up a load and bring it back here. So that's nice. It's gonna be a nice run today. Hopefully the snow doesn't get too bad, but if it does, we'll just go slower and we'll enjoy the trip just a little longer. Mornings like this that uh, I gotta show off my 4WD a little bit at the stoplights. As soon as the lights turn green, everybody sits there spinning. I'm gone. Four wheel drive. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. There's a lot of snow out here. Boy, almost every year, just about every year, we get a lot of snow right before Christmas. I'm not really complaining though. I like to have a white Christmas. You know, we thought that this day was gonna be a lot worse. Turns out it's not that bad. There's just some snow on the road. It's not as bad as it looks. Just a light little dusting on top. There's no ice underneath it. It's good conditions for uh, this time of year. I mean, at least according to our standards. <laughs> Someone from Florida is probably looking at this with wide eyes, but this is nothing. This is fine. The sky looks to be clearing up. And we're getting close to the U.S. border. We're going to cross into uh, a Minnesota from Manitoba here. We've got about an hour and a half down south to go. We're just gonna drop this empty step deck I got behind me. Switch it out for a loaded one and take that back. And that's my last load before Christmas. So when I'm filming this, this is Christmas Eve Eve. I think I told you that this morning. And Christmas is a big deal at our house, so very excited.
behind us. All loaded up, ready to head back to Canada. 250 kilometers. I don't know what that is in American. Two, two, two and a half hours, so I'd say. Two hours is 120 miles. Three, four, five. 150 miles, I think. 100, 150 miles and it's Christmas. Dukes of Hazard. Scream America, I don't know what does. Deep River Falls, that's where the petrol pumper is. You know, the truck stops down in the US, they're very uh, truck oriented, which makes sense because they're truck stops. Sometimes the truck stops in Canada are kind of in a location that's like, <laughs> do you really design this for trucks to get in here or are you just teasing us? But they're getting better, that's the good news, they're getting better. But you know what's not getting better? What's not getting better is how close I am not getting to home by sitting here. Let's go. Let's do some super truck or super shifting. Come on, let's go. I want Christmas. Traffic. I'll show you shifting. Come on. Everyone's in my way. Here we go.
Steve Eve. You don't mess with anyone on Christmas, all right? You just stay out of the way, okay? Serious stuff. Serious stuff. Meow. Meow. Here comes a train off on our right. Looks like it's got a bunch of, what is that, grain? No, that's oil. Bunch of Canadian oil coming down here. How's it going, buddy? They usually honk back. Next time. Look at all that oil. Woo. Man, wouldn't it be nice if we just had like a pipeline we could send that through instead of sending that all the way down there by rail? Eh. We were talking about mat tracks the other day. It's from here. They even got a little innovation center museum thing. You see they make all those tracks on the cars there? And there you can see another big, uh, one of their big warehouses. It's like the biggest industry in this little town. Probably supports the whole town. Almost in Canada. Yes, there, that dark line up there, that's the Canadian border. It's about 30 miles up from here. But I'm on Highway 59 here now in the U.S. I've got to get across to uh, the U.S. 75, which is going to take me into North Dakota. And then get onto Interstate 29 and take that north. Because I can't cross the border here with loaded with a loaded trailer. I can only cross empty. Which is strange, right? I don't know why, but it's the way they made it. I don't ask questions, I just drive the truck. Turn. 175, that's... I can't believe they haven't put up no parking signs here yet. <laughs> you know we're back in Canada because there's trucks parked on the shoulder at the Timmy's. If you look very closely on the lamp posts to your right, you'll see the glorious Canada flag. There it is. That's that's my proof to you we're back in Canada. Got about one hour, maybe a little less than an hour back to the yard from here. Those dogs, nice. They're big St. Bernards. In one kilometer, go straight on Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. Lord Selkirk. There's another way you know we're back in Canada. There's a queen in charge again, and we have lords. Not really. We don't have lords in Canada. That's more of a British thing. They have the House of Lords. But I guess in a way, I am a lord. We do own land, so I am the lord of the land, right? Doesn't that, isn't that what, what it means? It's probably not what it means, but I'm just gonna call myself a lord now. 
Diesel, he is Lord Weasel. 600 meters, go straight on. Lord Karen, I know you want to be in the vlog. Where else am I going to go? Oh, that guy just, uh, know where you're going, bud? Karen doesn't know where she's going. I don't know, just go straight. The one traffic light. Congratulations, Morton. Morris, whatever your name is. Morris. They have a traffic light. Did you know Niverville and Blumenort have a traffic light? I think I told you that already once. The southeast coming. Oh, and Mitchell. Mitchell has a traffic light now. I'm glad it stopped snowing. Where are you going, bud? You had your signal on for two blocks. There you go. There you go. Going to the liquor store, getting his Christmas liquor. That makes sense. That makes sense why he almost, yeah, he changed his mind before. He was about to go home and he almost forgot. Uh-uh-uh. 200 meters, go straight on. Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. Lord Selkirk. We gotta get Diesel his own highway and call it Lord Weasel Highway. That'd be nice. Continue on this road for 52 kilometers. I still haven't left this road, Karen. I don't know why you gotta keep telling me to go straight. Does your GPS do that to you all the time too? Just won't shut up. Just keep going straight. In 500 meters, go straight. Uh, now that you've gone straight, keep going straight. After you're done going straight, go straight. I used to do that with diesel in the truck all the time. He loved that. I'd always get him all excited. Got a little bit of high energy today. I'm excited. I love Christmas time. It's my favorite time of year. And it's Britt's favorite time too. We, we share each other's affinity for elf culture. Very much so. You know, if I had a million bucks, Christmas decorations we would have on our house, you'd see us from space. Look at that car, didn't even move over. That's rude. That is rude, that bugs me when people do that. I don't know, it's one of my pet peeves. When there's like someone on the shoulder and you won't move over. When there's a perfectly open lane, uh, I, won't, I won't start a rant, I won't start a rant. Don't start a rant, Josh, it's almost Christmas, okay? Calm down. There's a cab over. It's gotta be a custom sleeper on there. Nice. I always wanted to drive one like that. Cause they're so uncommon out here, you know? I always thought it would be great because then you can have a much bigger sleeper because we're limited with the wheelbase we're allowed here in Canada. But if you have a cab over, you can have the full wheelbase, make it all sleeper. You can have a big RV behind you. quickly grabbing fuel here before we head back to the yard so that I can park it over Christmas holidays with full tanks of fuel. Get a head start when we come back. Look at that DEF stuff there. Ha! <laughs> Don't need any of that. Life. Life juice. Yes. And there she is, all tucked in for the holidays. You have a Merry Christmas, girl. Alright? You be good. You don't party too hard, alright? But you go crazy. It's Christmas, okay? You can let loose for the holidays. Just... Make sure you're ready to work, okay? When I get back. Everybody's gone already. We just had one more truck coming in yet. I don't know where he's at. He must be working late, but most people are gone already. And so am I. I've been asked in my comment section more than once about this icy lot that we always have here. You know, it's beautiful ice lot all around there and over there. And I've always, I always get the question, how do you resist not, or how do you resist doing donuts? on the ice here, in your pickup truck. And I have to tell you, it's not easy. 
the urge to do donuts is there every day but a lot of self-control okay <laughs> I'm a professional driver here and I want that image to stay intact so I do understand your question and I feel the desire to do donuts but this just isn't the place for it <laughs> not here something I won't do you might say Josh but there's no one around there's always someone around <laughs> there's cameras everywhere too this is a very secure lot and to be honest I don't get the urge to horse around here and do a bunch of donuts and stuff not here we haul a lot of specialty freight we haul a lot of expensive stuff and I never want to give doubts to anyone here about my professional attitude towards driving I want to make sure that everyone always knows that when I come to work I'm serious I'm not here to horse around I'm here to get some work done I'm here to do the work right to the best of my ability and to get things done professionally so no not the place for donuts I'm not saying I don't want to do donuts somewhere else but definitely not here but really I don't really do I don't drive like that anymore I feel like an old man I just slowly putts around and I get joy out of that you know I get joy out of just slowly putting down Main Street or just putting down the highway doing the speed limit you know but some people have said well you've matured maybe that's it I don't know but My whole being is about professional driving. So even when I'm not in the big truck, when I'm in my own personal vehicle, I carry that same attitude. Driving to me is an art form. There is a way to do it and a way not to do it. Always gotta be professional, whether you're on duty or off duty. Well, I took a break for the holidays. I'm just finishing this up here already and it's New Year's Eve when I'm fishing, fishing, when I'm finishing this up right now and uh took all from work vlogging everything uh christmas eve day boxing day so there's a there's a few videos coming out in the next week for you but not every day but i hope you guys had an incredible holiday i'm going to try to release this video today yet on new year's eve happy new year everybody i wish you all the best in 2022 let's uh let's hope it's a lot better than 2020 and 2021 that's what we want we want things to keep getting better and uh you know, we, uh, we could really use a good year. This is going to be a big year for us. We're planning our IVF, and if everything goes good, that means we would probably have a December baby or a Christmas baby if, if everything takes. Let's not get our hopes up too high yet. I mean, but we'll see what happens. We'll talk about that in future videos anyways. I just wanted to wrap this up and say thanks for watching. And uh, all the new subscribers. I don't know where you guys are all coming from, but we're growing fast right now. We had one video that got pretty popular a couple of weeks ago. It was called Overnight. Maybe you found about found out about me through that video. We've had over a quarter million views on that video already, which is astronomical for me. That's I think we just about hit 300,000, and that's almost as much as I get on my whole channel in a whole month, usually, just on one video. So the YouTube overlords have smiled on me this month and have brought you all to me. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. We make daily videos here. Sometimes we're in the truck, sometimes we're at home. Been doing this for about 10 years, so there's a lot of stuff to catch up on if you want to. Uh, if you want to know more about me, find me on social media down below in the description of all my videos right there. You can find all the links to everything there is to know about me and a little description of what's going on in my life right now. But this is a daily vlog channel, a lot of talking, a lot of my thoughts being thrown out there into the world and conversation down below in the comment section. So I encourage you to go down below in the comment section there and join the conversation and we'll see you tomorrow. Or actually it's the holidays. I'll see you in my next video. There's another one coming soon.